Okay. All right, here we go. Spread out. Spread out. I love to do it, okay. Energizes you, you get lots of exercise. I feel pretty excited and pretty happy because I get to move around. There you go. Come on, reach, go ladies, go, 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 up. The dance program I think is very cool. It's called Dancing Through the Decades. And we're doing different movements associated with different time periods in history. And it's basically exploring dances from the 20s to the 80s. And dance starting up the Charleston in the 20s and we go all the way up to the 80s with Michael Jackson and Beat It. The um, idea was to demonstrate the relationship between culture and the social uh, trends that were going on in music and in dance and to make some connections for the uh, students as well in terms of what was going on in literature and in history and how they all are very interrelated. And it's very cool because it kind of has to do with what we're learning about in humanities. About um, the 20s, the 1920s and 1930s and uh, it was cool to make a connection through dancing. As we learned each new dance, we learned about that time period. Tapestry sets it up as this is necessary and you must have it in order to be a great thinker, in order to be a great mathematician, in order to be a great scientist, you must also have creative expression. After all, how do you create the next cure if you're not, if you don't think expansively beyond those facts that live right there in front of you.